Hello everybody and welcome to Smart Tag Learn Tools for the Web. As this is the first episode for Smart Tag, I'll go ahead and briefly explain what Smart Tag is all about. Smart Tag is a show dedicated to helping web developers and designers, uh, introducing them to the various tools of their for their fields. Um, my name is Chad Watkins and I will be guiding you through today's tool, which is Adobe Brackets. Now, what is Adobe Brackets? Uh, Adobe Brackets is an open source text editor by Adobe. Uh, however, as it is open source, it does have a thriving community helping uh, contributing to it as well. It is cross-platform for Windows, OS X, and Linux, and is written in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. However, it is not a browser uh, application like JSBin or JSFiddle. It is, in fact, a standalone desktop application. It's currently not in what we would call a version 1.0, but it does receive frequent updates about every two and a half weeks, giving it new features and bug fixes. And these new up every update is called a sprint. And we're currently in what is called Sprint 34. So to get brackets, let's go ahead and open up your browser here and type in brackets.io. So once you're here, you can go ahead and hit this download button right here and that will download and you can install brackets. So once you have that installed, go ahead and click on the icon to open it on up. Okay, now that once you have that open, we can go ahead and see uh, here on the left, we're going to start here with the layout. Uh, we, here we have your directory, the, your open directory. Uh, this will give you everything that's there. And above that, we have with the files that you're currently working on within the directory. Now, the directory here can change, clicking on here, you can choose which directories you've been working on, you can get rid of those, or add new directories by opening a folder, and it'll open up everything within there. So, once you have that, uh, you can go ahead and you can go ahead and close this, it's just to show you. You can double click on this, and it'll bring up a file that's down here in the directory into your working files. This is extremely useful if you have a very complex directory, you don't want to scroll through and try to figure out where an item is in there. Once you have that open, you can just have it right here in the working files. These are the files that almost like your recent files that you've had. So, uh, over here on the in the middle, you, as you can see, pretty obvious, we have the, the main area where you can do your text editing for your web pages. And then lastly, we have over here on the right hand side very, a couple extra tools. Here we're going to only see this top one, the site the sideways lightning bolt called the live preview and then this one right below it is going to be called the extension manager. Alright we're going to go ahead and get started with live preview here so go ahead and just click the sideways lightning bolt right here that will turn that color and that will bring up a web page within the Chrome browser. You do have to have Chrome installed for this to work. It does not currently work with other browsers. I do believe that this is something that they would like to get started. Uh, they would like to get expand to other browsers in the future as a future feature. So once you're in live preview, you can go ahead and select any element, any items within that element, and you'll see that it highlights where you're at in the in the DOM in your HTML page within the browser. So we can come over here and see we're in the P tag. If we click on a nested item with these EM within the P tag, you'll see it highlights where that is. Very useful if you're trying to identify where you're at and what you're going to be affecting. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what we can affect right here within Live Preview. Let's go ahead and watch over here on the left hand side. But as we click here, we can, as we type, things change in real time. You can see that as I was typing, things were changing. We didn't have to wait for a file save and then come over here and hit reload to be able to see those changes we can just see them as we type. Pretty awesome. This does not just apply to your HTML, this also applies to your CSS. So let's come over here, let's say we want to change the background color to uh, 999, you know, that's just a darker gray. We can come and we can click off of it, we can see just so it's not highlighted, uh, and we can see that it changed it. We have to control S or command S and then reload the page be able to see those changes. It is able to allow us to develop quicker and uh, faster web pages. Uh, we can also see 
that you know as we highlight things here in CSS, uh, it just shows what stuff is being highlighted, what things that are going to be affected within our CSS as well. Very useful tool for the live preview. Okay, so that's live preview. Very simple, but very powerful. So let's come back over here to the HTML. One of the problems I think we have, or at least the, that we're going to maybe waste some time otherwise doing, is we see a class. Let's say we have this class right here, class red, and we don't know where it is exactly in our CSS. If we have a very massive CSS file or files, it'll be difficult, or we can spend a lot of time trying to find where this class is located. Brackets makes this a lot simpler by giving us quick edit. Quick edit can be either be activated by right clicking on a class or uh, ID or element name or control E. So as we do that, we can see it opens up the rule that we have already. I created this rule beforehand. The class red, um, this selector here, and we can go ahead and see what CSS rules we have. Let's go ahead and open up live preview so you can see some other things were going on with this. So as we do, as we see this, we can go ahead and type in a rule here. Let's go ahead and give it the color red. Look at that. It changed it real time. We didn't have to do any reloads. We didn't have to go into our CSS file to try to find where that class was. And we could just edit it right there. Pretty fast. Now let's say we have a something that doesn't have a rule already existing to it. This all the p tags do not have existing CSS rules. A newer feature of, bra of brackets, but we can go to the quick edit. And we can go ahead and hit new rule. There's no existing CSS rules that match your selection. Click new rule to create a new one. So it create it within main CSS. However, if we, if we have multiple CSS files, it will ask us which file, which CSS file we want to put this rule into. So we can come in here and make maybe the background color here. Let's make it maybe a darker gray, maybe like 333. Let's do it darker than that. Maybe let's do 666. There we go. OK, so we can see what stuff's being affected. All of those p tags were just affected with that new rule. We can come over to our CSS file, see that it added that rule right there edited it for us. We didn't have to come in here, find it, especially if it's a complex, this is a simpler, very simple style sheet, but if it's a very complex style sheet, then we might have a hard time finding where exactly that rule is. So it's able to allow us to quickly edit our CSS for us. Okay, one of the last features that we are going to talk about here with brackets in this brief overview is the extension manager. So you can click on the extension manager. It shows you all the extensions that you have available, all the build, the things that you can add on to brackets. Uh, brackets does have, I would say, I believe it's over 80 extensions currently, and they, I know there's working on a better way to filter it, maybe the extensions, but for now this is what we got. Uh, you can add different things such as themes. Uh, you can see the things that I've added. Uh, we can let's go ahead and take a look at this themes extension. So the themes extension added a new uh, menu item up here, and I can go ahead and choose what themes I want. I usually actually work. I like working in Zamir. I like this extent. I like this theme. It's dark theme. It's easier on my eyes. You can also see that some extensions add uh, items from over here. So we can go over and look at. Let's go ahead and add a rule to these f font family browse web fonts and it activates this item right here which is your what the web fonts the Adobe web fonts extension so and I can come in here and choose a different font that I want let's go ahead I like I like this one Arvo I think it's a good font adds it right there I can go ahead and click on this item okay and it's giving me the JavaScript that I need with the URL in it to be able to add Arvo to it. So I can come in here, Control C or Command C, come back to my C CSS. Let's go ahead and add that JavaScript file right there. And look at that. It changed it right there. We now have Arvo as our font that we are using. To make that easier, maybe we'll, we'll go into here and quick edit. 
you know, red's pretty hard to read, so let's just go ahead and change it back to black. So, you can see, make them make that a little easier to read. Okay, and that's brackets in a nutshell. There's lots of different things you can do with brackets, lots of little features. Uh, there's the thesis, which I would imagine, uh, which I would encourage you to go check out. Uh, there's also within the brackets website, they've got some upcoming features that I would encourage you to support. Uh, if you come over here, I look at the responsive design tool for brackets, and from design comp to code, I encourage you to check those videos out and give support so we can have these these features into brackets soon. All right, so in as a complete overview of brackets, uh, brackets isn't complete, but is already a powerful text editor. Uh, I'd encourage you to give it a try. And if you find something you don't like, you know, that's the beauty of this being written in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. If you know those languages, you can write an extension for it. You can make your own extensions and share that with the world. Uh, your no I guarantee your knowledge of JavaScript, HTML, and CSS will increase. You'll have something you can add to your portfolio. You can show employers you have an ex and you have a that you have experience with these technologies. I hope to see you next time where we'll be covering Emmet. Be sure to check out LearnSmartTag.com for additional information. Thanks, and you guys have a great day.